Could artificial intelligence soon replace your job? And if so, what would a world where work is optional look like? Let's explore whether the future with AI spells doom or paradise for the workforce. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we're diving into a gripping topic, the future of work in the age of artificial intelligence. This analysis is inspired by the thoughts of Eric Posner, a noted professor at the University of Chicago Law School. Special thanks to Project Syndicate for allowing us to use their material to frame our discussion. Let's explore what AI might mean for our jobs and our lives. The discourse surrounding AI and its impact on employment oscillates dramatically between two extreme scenarios. On one side, we have the apocalyptic vision where AI leads to widespread job loss, intensifying inequalities as a small, affluent class gains while many lose their livelihoods. Conversely, the utopian scenario paints a similar picture of displacement, but ends on a hopeful note where this new wealth is redistributed. Imagine a society where everyone receives a universal basic income, enabling a life where work is a choice, not a necessity. Realizing, perhaps, Karl Marx's vision of a society where people can freely choose their daily activities. In both visions, AI is seen as a powerhouse for productivity. It could potentially render traditional jobs obsolete, from truck driving to complex programming, thereby generating an unimaginable surplus of wealth. But beyond the economic implications, there's a significant political dimension. How will the vast majority, potentially displaced, influence the redistribution of wealth? There's room for optimism as the potential for AI to create wealth is so vast that even the wealthiest might see the benefit in sharing it, if only to maintain social harmony. However, the heart of the debate extends beyond mere wealth distribution. The role of work in society is foundational not only to our economy, but to our sense of self and communal life. With AI potentially sidelining human workers, we face not just an economic revolution, but a deep social and psychological upheaval. How will individuals feel valued and find meaning in life if traditional work becomes obsolete? Posner stresses the importance of addressing the potential psychological impacts of such a shift. The evidence is clear. Unemployment harms people far beyond their wallets. It affects mental health, social relationships, and overall life satisfaction. The challenge we face with AI is not just about distributing resources, but redefining value and purpose in a society where human labor is not the cornerstone it once was. Perhaps we need to look at new economic models or innovative social structures that can accommodate these changes. Some economists argue for taxing AI outputs to subsidize sectors where human roles can complement technology. Others suggest the government could play a proactive role in shaping AI development to support jobs that enhance human skills rather than replace them. Yet, these ideas might only postpone the inevitable confrontation with AI's capabilities. Even if jobs are preserved through subsidies or taxes, the underlying fact that AI can perform these tasks more efficiently might undermine the perceived value of human labor, diminishing the dignity that work confers. As we navigate this new terrain, it's crucial to engage in broader discussions about the implications of AI on our economic structures, social fabric, and personal identities. What roles will humans hold in a future dominated by AI? How do we prepare for potential massive shifts in our labor markets? Thank you for joining this exploration into the future of work with AI. Also, thank you to Professor Eric Posner at the University of Chicago Law School and Project Syndicate for the use of its content to frame this discussion. What do you think about the scenarios outlined? How should society adapt to these potential changes? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you found this discussion insightful, please like, subscribe, and share this video with others. Until next time, keep seeking knowledge and questioning the future.